Hey guys, Blind Fates here, and I'm here to talk about my uh, 26th through 30th records that I have acquired. I'm just keeping the collection going. So to start us off, we have another uh, kind of more expensive one by Thrice, which is my favorite band, as I said before. Um, this is Major Minor, which is their final album, if you're not counting Anthology, which was a live recording. Um, this one cost me 80 bucks, which is pretty expensive. Uh, definitely the most I've spent on a record to date. Um, but I feel it was totally worth it because it's such a cool package. Um, so it is gatefold. And this is what's on the cover of the Live Guitar Center. So just some artwork. When you pull out the sleeves here, sorry, trying to get it out. You have a little uh, sheet that has the cover on it, and then on the other side, you have the lyrics. And then on the actual like sleeves, there's artwork. And on the back side, um, each member of the band talks about uh, each song individual, like the writing process, the uh, the uh, recording process, the whole thing. It's really cool. Um, to read as you're like listening through it, I really enjoyed it. Um, and then here's the other one, same kind of thing. You know, you, you get it. Um, I keep the records and other sleeves because those sleeves actually have something on it. I don't want to ruin them, so I got some generic sleeves. I just keep these sleeves inside the plastic case um, on the back of the record. Comes on clear with blue streaks. There's side A, and then side B has the artwork. Pretty cool. And it is a 2 LP, so there is a second LP here. I'll go ahead and show it to you guys, even though it's basically the same thing. Side C, D has the artwork. Same thing. Sounds different, so obviously. Alright, uh, continuing, uh, this one I pre-ordered, it's Delrus Prada 818, which is their new record, and it came out, um, shoot, I don't remember the actual day, I'm not prepared for that, but anyway, it's a gatefold, some really basic artwork in the center there, um, it's a single LP, if you pull out the sleeve, the sleeve contains the lyrics and you could have gotten on a deep purple but I ended up getting on black because I didn't order it in time to get the deep purple uh, not too big a deal uh, the albums alright it's pretty good it has some good uh, hits on it and I know I might get hate for this but I honestly feel that Mike Ranica's, uh screams are a bit they sound really strained and I don't know, it's just overall less enjoyable. Um, I kind of started feeling that uh, with Dead Throne. Even though the music is still good, I just think his screams are becoming a bit exhausted. Uh, next one is We Came as Romans, Understanding What We've Grown to Be. I uh, found this one online for pretty cheap, and it is a good album. I was listening to it for a long time. Um, here's the lyric sheet. It has some pretty cool artwork on it which then expands to some more artwork with the lyrics on the sides there and the record itself comes on a translucent uh, deep green it looks kinda more green than it is on the photo it's, it's like a really dark dark uh, hue of green but pretty cool, definitely uh, glad to own this album. I like it almost clean through. Um, I think my favorite is A War Inside. I'm not too sure. I also like Cast the First Stone a lot. Um, haven't listened to it in, since I got it, I think. Probably play this maybe after I'm done with these videos. We'll see. Alright, next up we have... Uh, Tame Impala, Lonerism. This is an album 
probably the most unique out of my collection so far. Um, it's definitely a different sounding. It's like a psychedelic uh, experimental indie. I don't really know how to explain it. But I mean, if you look at the artwork, it just looks like like an older style record, but it actually came out in 2012. Um, so it's a pretty good album. Like I suggest giving it a try. Uh, it's a two LP, but both are the same, so I'm not gonna pull out the other one. They're both black with uh, the same label going all around. Um, but definitely check it out. My favorite song off this record is uh, Mind Mischief. I think that's a really excellent song. Uh, the radio plays um, Elephant a lot. And a lot of people like Elephant. So those two songs might want to give them a shot. Pretty good band. Uh, number 30 is A Day to Remember for those who have part. Trying to hold this. There we go. Um, this record is the one that I really liked in high school. Uh, I talked in the last video um, about Homesick, how I didn't like it at first, um, even though I think it's the best one now. Um, this was the one I was really into at the time. Uh, it has awesome ones like uh, Monuments. Uh, where is it? Show them the ropes, uh, Heartless. There's a lot of really cool ones. I'm actually looking at this and I don't see Heartless on here. That's really weird because I'm pretty sure Heartless is on this record. At least it's on the CD, I'm pretty sure. I'm about to check that out. That, just, that totally threw me off. Um, if I'm mistaken, please correct me because I was pretty sure Heartless was on here. But it's not listed on the track list. Uh, here is the lyric sheet. Can't really see it, which also does not have Heartless. And then on this side has, like, it's kind of similar to the cover. Yeah, you guys get the idea. Um, there are colored versions of this, I'm pretty sure. Um, I have it on black, though. Color's not everything. Although color is cool, you know, it's cool to get them on color. Definitely like really reminiscent album of high school. And then I have one more bonus uh, that I'm not counting towards my record collection as uh, I don't really count the seven inches. Uh, this one's like a miscellaneous 10 inch. It doesn't come in this case, but uh, Thrice is my favorite band as you all well know. Um, their album, The Alchemy Index, is a four piece album that comes in a box set and it's incredibly rare and expensive right now um, however when they shipped it out the earth disc which is the fourth disc was defective so they sent out replacement copies now not everyone had a defective earth disc but everyone got these replacement copies so someone was selling their replacement earth disc uh, online for fairly cheap for 20 bucks. Now you might think that's a lot for one fourth of the product, but um, the thing sells for like 300 bucks, like on average, like even more. I've seen it sell for 600. Um, so I'm just happy to have this one. Personally, Earth is my favorite. I really like the sound of of this record, um, and I can't wait to someday. Someday I will have the full set. Um, just really looking forward to uh, being able to get it. Uh, probably after I save it for my car and I'm driving again, I will definitely be saving for this box set because I want it like really bad. All right, guys. Well, I'll put that in after I sign off here. Um, thanks for watching. I am currently at. 33 records and I have three more coming um, in the mail but they're not going to be here till like mid-December so once I get up to 35 I will be posting another video hopefully it won't be such a long delay um, and alright cool see you guys around